Weirdo. Hey, how's it going? I'm Charlie. I'm Jean. Thanks for tuning in to Multicast. I think I'm too far in the middle. Gene. You don't say. Ow! Weirdo. <laughs> Uh, so today we're gonna drink uh, a little bit of Rampour, Gene. Okay. A unique Rampour. This is the very first ever Indian single malt. I'm gonna let you do that. Okay. I got still recovered from surgery. This is the first ever Indian single malt that is uh, touched Cabernet Sauvignon. So Check can... out the little baggie with its little balls. Okay. Check it out. <laughs> Easily amused. Really amused. You wanted me to do this part. Well, yeah. I get Cabernet. to do it my way. Well, that's true. Who am I to tell you not to do it your own way? Uh, age in Cabernet uh, cast gene. Yeah. A non age stated to 45 ABV. It's a 90 proof. Uh, we're excited to try it. We like the bottle. At least I like the bottle. It comes yeah. up. It's like a little bit of like a balcones or a. Um, well, kind of like a balcones. I seems guess Alan like Fildy has a similar bottle. Seems like you're supposed to read the bottle about some. Oh, yeah, it's got the. Read that. Read that. So it's aged in bourbon barrels. It is finished in Cabernet uh, red wine casks. Sounds um, wonderful. Yeah, it does. Lovely, wonderful. First time in history resulting in a unique expression with impeccable balance. First time in Indian history it's aged mm. in cab glasses barrels. There is a sour apple Jolly Rancher. Grape Jolly Rancher, I'd say. Maybe some grape. Maybe this is a grape frozen uh, on the popsicle. Uh, oh, okay, I'll give you that. On the uncorking, I got the cab, Renee. Now I'm thinking more sherry. It's red berries nonetheless. There's the cab, okay. Yeah, at first, it's, it's opening up. It's a black cherry, red berry. Blackberry, mulberry. Dark chocolate. Lots of berries. All your red berries are in here. All of them. They all got together. Raisins, figs, plums. Yeah, it's a raisin. Heavy black raisin. Red raisin. Ooh. <sighs> yeah, it, it, it's it, it's very umami on the nose. Very full flavored. I'm going I in. I like it. I like that nose. You want to go in? You want mom to go in? If you don't know anyone, you no, go in. No, go in. I'm still smelling. There's like. This is like a, it's a fresh Fig Newton cookie mm. that you just mm. opened, tore open in the middle of it. I haven't had a Fig Newton in a while, but I'm smelling Fig Newtons. This is an experience, so it opens up with all those berries, all those juices flowing. And then, mid palate, definite transition, and I'm thinking, it tastes, has a similar expression, similar to uh, the Balcones rye, 100% rye that's finished in a Cabernet, finished in a wine barrel. This is unique. I mm. got, is that what you were saying? Because I wasn't listening at all with my own pleasure on my nose and my tongue. It's a dark chocolate, but it's got a ruby red grapefruit too. Mm. It's a ruby red grapefruit yeah. covered in dark chocolate, mm. which I have never thought would even taste good together. But boy, it, I, they just figured it out how to do it. I concur. All those, uh, it's got some, <laughs> you poured it. It's got some Texas sage uh, notes to it mm. uh, that I would akin to that, like I said, a, a good American comparison would be the Balcones rye that's finished in the red wine casks. Now or I pork, got some grass. The pork, actually. Now I got some grass on my tongue. <laughs> you said grass. Ass, right? On your tongue? I got a little okay. bit of grass. G grass. Yeah, yeah, grass. Mm -hmm. Is it delish? Yeah. So delish. <laughs> mm. Ruby red grapefruit. Yes, 100%. With grass, chocolate. Man, and red mm. berries. Red berries. When I say red berries, it's the cherry, it's the raspberry. I'm not getting a lot of strawberry. So maybe not all the red berries. There is a definite something there for the finish. This has defined transitions. It has a defined opening. It has a definite transition to the mid palate and a definite transition to the finish. When it transitions into the finish, it gives you an extra burst of flavor that I've had before. It's a familiar fruit note, but I can't quite picture it. Hmm. It might be your grapefruit. Your grapefruit's there. 
A little bit like the tropical gum, trident, tropical trident gum. Okay. It's a juicy fruit gum. Nope. That's why I said tropical trident, which yeah, is a completely different brand of the juicy fruit. With the drop of water, I'm getting juicy fruit on my nose. <laughs> So. <laughs> well, we're gonna make sure there's some juicy fruit <laughs> represented. I got the juicy fruit gum going. There is an angel food cake that I'm getting now. A freshly baked angel food cake with some cherry drizzle with the water. I'm hungry now. Oh, yeah, we're gonna make, we're gonna, we're gonna reverse sear some steaks today. Ooh, I'm excited about that. My brother came to town. Rob Larkin. Mm -hmm. Taught him how to make a steak in a different way oh. and excited about trying it here all by himself. I'm a searer, he's a reverse searer, so we try the methods, his method one. Restaurant quality it was. Rob mm. Busboom, I said Rob Larkin, Rob Busboom. Rob Larkin Busboom, yep. it goes by both. Mm -hmm. mm. Stage name, Rob Busboom. I want the thicker one. Don't worry. I was busy talking to them about what you just said. Oh. Yeah. Well, girl gotta have what girl wants. There you go. Um, 82, didn't care for it, Miss Jean. What'd you do? 91 for me, Miss Jean. Uh, subscribe to the channel, thumbs up. If you like us, thumbs down if you don't like me. Um, yes. I'm excited about this whiskey, Rampour. First of all, are we even pronouncing that right? Probably not. Brand tour? Oh. Um, but yeah, good job you. Excited about, keep doing stuff like this. Uh, we like this Indian uh, distillery in general. Keep doing neat stuff like this. Yeah. I, I think you're gonna tell me it's $110 for this, is what I would guess this to be. What's the price? $80. Yes. $80, and I, I still have a whole mouth of raisins yep. that I'm chewing on. Long finish. And you... I'm still chewing on a whole mouth of raisins. Uh, I mean, how many times have you paid for a whiskey, $100 bill, you drop a $100 bill, and it has a weak finish? Like, ah. I always feel a little jiffed myself. I'm like, I didn't get my money's worth out of that. You get your money's worth out of this. Easily. And you get a little bag with balls. That's how you know it's a boy bag. See? <laughs> yep. Maybe I'll put the balls on my face. <laughs> You know, Always just saying. By your face. Uh, <laughs> are you trying to make an impromptu country song <laughs> entitled Bowls by My Face? Bowls by My Face. Looking like a fool with the bowls in your face. <laughs> Anything else to add, Gene? No. I think this is going off the rails pretty quickly. I'm Charlie. I'm Gene, and I hope you are just as thirsty as we are. Cheers.